Hey, what's going on, miners? Mining King here. Today, we're going to be setting up my little USB Bitcoin ASIC I got from Bitcoin Merch. So let's get right into it. All right, so I kind of did a video on this Bitcoin lottery ticket, right? But I haven't had a chance to set it up, so I want to set it up today. I'm going to be using my little mini PC I have that I kind of keep everything separated away from everything. I got a couple like little core wallets on there of some, you know, some altcoins or, you know, uh, litter box coins or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so we're going to be using that PC today because... Just as a little disclaimer, if you guys are thinking about like putting this on your personal PC, I want you to know this does consume some CPU power. So if you're plugging this into your computer, I highly recommend that you use like, if you have like a spare computer that, I'm, it doesn't even have to really, it's have to have Windows on it or something, you know, or you can even do Ubuntu or Linux or any of those things. But I recommend using a spare PC as this does consume a little bit of your CPU power. So just kind of keep that in mind because uh, everybody's obviously everybody's computer is going to be 100 percent different. So some people's computers may not really see a blip, you know, like uh, I have a 5900X in my personal. So it's really not going to affect me too much. But I still would like to kind of keep this off my my own personal private things as you know, as we try to protect ourselves. It's always best practice to take every precaution to protect yourself because nobody's going to do it for you guys. So. Let's go ahead. We're going to head over to my mini PC that I got hooked up on my third monitor here. Um, I am going to have to switch microphones because my Go XLR doesn't go through all that. So the the sound quality might get a, might not be as great, but we're going to head over to the PC. I'm going to take you guys step through step. We're going to be using um, BFG miner. That's the miner that we're going to be using for this little mini ASIC right here. And let's see if we can't hit a block. All right, miners, we're over here at Bitcoin Merch. And this is the uh, company that had uh, sent over this Gecko Science Compact F for review. So thank you, Bitcoin Merch. Now, let's. there's a couple of how-to videos. Now, this one here is if you have the, um, the all-in-one miner that has, like, you know, the, the Raspberry Pi and the screen and has all this stuff here. And, you know, um, we just have a single unit. Um, there's another video by, uh, you know, Seb over here. Um, he goes into a little bit of detail of how to get this going. So down here, you could either go to their GitHub as well as you can go here to the Windows file. And this is where you're going to click here. And then it will start downloading, which I already have it. So we're going to go down here. So once you extracted the folders, I put it down here on the desktop. We're going to open it on up. And we just have a couple files, so it's not too daunting. It's pretty easy. They do have a uh, setup guide over here. So here's the here's the uh, PDF file on this on our little USB stick. Obviously, it tells you to plug it in right here. And then we need to go to the uh, Zdag to do the um, to get the drivers for this particular model. So we would double click this. Hit yes. And then we're going to come down to list all devices and then compact F Bitcoin miner and reinstall driver. Now I've already have it working, so I don't need to do that. So we're going to close this out. And then we need to come over here. We'll read a little more of our PDF here, but it'll essentially tell you to right click on the bat file right here for CG miner. So we're going to right click edit. And then we need to, um, now you could set whatever solo pool you want. This is the pool that I'm going to use. Now do realize as well that the solo pools do not do not work as well. There's not all solo pools and mining pools will work with this compact uh, mini USB block eruptor due to the fact of its low hash rate. So this is one that does support it. So we are going to use this one. It is solo.ckpool.org as well as you'll need to put in your Bitcoin address right here. 
And then over here we have frequencies for the Gecko Compact F. It could go between four and 800 uh, megahertz depending upon your silicon lottery. So let's get out of here. And once you have all of this here set up, you'd wanna click save. We're gonna close it out. We're gonna come back here. And then all you gotta do to get this going is just click start. And there we go. We see that it is now registering uh, a hash rate. It is gonna take a few moments. It's gonna take a little time to ramp up the ASIC to get it to, uh, to its actual potential here. So it'll take a few moments, but let me know what you guys think of the video. This is just a kind of a really nice, easy how-to. I do like how Bitcoin Merch has everything here for the product on their product page so people don't have to like go looking around through the github and finding installation instructions and things like that because that could be really daunting for some people so i like that everything is here on the site you can just click here install it and you're good to go so anyways guys this is the money can giving you the most hashes and i'll see you next time